Man, well, I'm going into my fourth camp, so you feel me? I've been through three camps, so I know how, like, the schedule, I know how, like, everything goes. So, me, I feel like I have to talk to the young guys. Hey, we got to be here on time, do this, do that. So, I feel like I'm able to to help and give out the information that I was once given when I was a freshman to the young guys. So, it helps me be, like, be more of a leader. Okay, well, in your time here, you played corner, you played nickel. Now you're running as a safety. What's your level of comfort at, at each of those or all of those positions? Uh, well, our coaches do a great job of coaching at every position. So from the years that I've been here, corner, nickel, safety, they've coached me great. So I feel like anywhere you put me, I could play to my full potential. What's your favorite? Safety. What is it about safety that makes it an appealing position to play over the corner? Um, I just like being able to talk more, being able to communicate more to the back end and see the whole field so I can like make plays that I know I can make. Like being able to see the whole field, read the quarterback, break on the quarterback, being able to talk to the corners. Like it's kind of like a leadership role in the back end. And I really, I really like um, communicating to the back end. What have you been kind of working on with some of the younger guys that have come in um, this off season with, with the DB unit safeties corners all having really a ton of depth right now? What is something that you've been trying to work on specifically with them? Uh, I really uh, tell them like when we talk one on one personally, just to focus on the little things. Like cause we all got the potential to make plays. We all got the potential to pick the ball off, make big hits. But in college football, I had to realize it's all about the little keys, like reading your keys, being where you need to be. And when you know your keys and know where you're supposed to be at, that's when the plays happen. And that's what Coach Rock enforces. Just read your keys. He know that we got all the talent in the room. So if we read our keys, we'll always be in the right position to make plays. You're heading now in your fourth camp, as Katrina mentioned. You mentioned, and, um, you know, Coach Rock has mentioned you as, as a guy who's really improved playing all over the field. Or what is something that you personally want to work on? And do you feel like this is a season where you can kind of show yourself to the pros potentially? Yes, sir. This year, I, I always tell myself that this has to this has to be the year where I, I get my name out there. And it started in the spring and it started in the uh, summer. And I'm just trying to continue to stay, stay consistent every um, semester, every fall, spring, summer, just to stay consistent and really to keep my body in check because the past few years I've been getting injured and stuff like that. So just being a pro and taking care of my body and different stuff like that. You know, last year was frustrating for, for everyone. We hear the word standard a lot around here. Is this the year that you meet or exceed the standard as a team? Does this have to be that year? Yes, sir. I believe this is the year. This will be the year. And it has to be the year. Yes, sir. Why? Uh, because in my opinion, I believe why is because everybody's taking it Serious. Everybody is on the same page. The leaders are holding their position groups accountable. They're not letting, because we harp on the, the um, as long as as strong as our weakest link. So if somebody that in the fourth string, if he's falling off, we got to keep him to the standard. So holding everybody to the standard is what we really enforce in the program and what Herman enforces, Coach Rock enforces, all of us enforce, and we take pride in it. So. I believe since if we keep continuing to take pride in that, then we're going to be great. You've had more depth this year than you have in years <coughs> past. Um, is that pushing everyone in ways that they've never been pushed before? Yes, it is. Even with the young guys, they coming in and showing that they can play. So it makes the older guys, oh, if I, if I continue to slack, then you feel me, I might fall down in the depth chart. So it keeps everybody on their toes, keep everybody to hold the standard, as you guys were saying. So I definitely love the depth we got on this team. I love the people we got in the back end. We're going we're gonna to be good this year. It also gives you a chance to take a breath so that when you're out on the field, you're always at 100%. Right. Right, yeah. And that's what I'd be telling, like, CJ, Mike Wright, Lawrence. Like, we, we expect them guys to play, like, significant snaps this year. So, yeah, I, I stay on them to, to let them know that we need y'all this year and we can't take a step back when those guys are on the field. So coming in here uh, with this, with a whole a bunch of new players coming in just between the spring and even the, the summer, how has it been kind of trying to set yourself apart in that DB room? Just coming to work every day. Like, everybody in the room is good. Like, so it's competitive every day. You have to come so every day. You can't have any days off because the room is so competitive and so talented. Anybody can have a good day. 
you have a bad day, you might fall. You have to be good every day to compete. What has been the the, the kind of balance between the veterans and the young guys? Because there's probably more young guys in that room. Is there any kind of power imbalance at all, or is it kind of like a good system? That's a good system. Everybody comes in, asks questions, communicates with each other. Like it's not even it's not the older guys telling us what to do. They asking us what we like. We're asking them what they like. So it's kind of easy for us to communicate and be good at the back end. So you transfer in uh, from a, a military institute, correct? Yes, sir. And so what was that like in that program? Because I feel like it, in, in military styles of football, it's very like, I rarely, you rarely see Anthony type of errors in the t- style they play. So does that kind of translate to here in your game at all? And if so, what did they teach you to kind of instill that? Almost, at Juco, it was just like everything was set. Like It's, it's almost the same, really. Like college football is college football, really. Like, so it was the same for me, like coming in, everything, time, time, time. You got to be here, you got to be there, you got to do this. Like the standards, the standard. They're here, you got to meet the standard regardless. How are you looking forward to Monday and being able to put full pads on and, and make contact? I know that's a, a standard that we've been talking about for this team is playing tough physically. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like in the spring, I didn't really get to show how good I was tackling physical, so I'm ready to be able to get in pad. And improve, so I improve from the spring to now. See everybody else get in pad. See how we tackle. See how the unit looks. Anyone else? Has there been anything specific that you, your unit has been trying to focus on and improve on as a whole, or is it just all the little things? Communication, communication, definitely. Um, we preach that every day. Like if you, when you're communicating in the back end, it makes everybody's job easy. You tell him what the call is. So just talking, trying to communicate with guys. Definitely is the biggest thing we can focus on. Team goals are, are obviously super important, but sometimes individual goals, you know, make those happen. What's yours for this my, for this year? My individual goal is just um, um, helping the team, being able to step up when my name is called and don't fail my guys, my unit, the defense team, everybody. Don't fail anybody. Be, be, be able to step up. Reliable. Mr. Reliable. Yes, sir. It's kind of the same thing. It's nice to go last. You get to cheat off everybody else's answers. Um, <laughs> we've talked a lot about depth. Can you can you expand upon that from your view of what the depth is doing for the for the defensive backs? So the depth is good. I feel like we got a lot of people, a lot of young people as well, like Coach Ed said, stepping up. They're not scared. They're not intimidated. They ask questions. I feel like Coach going to be hard for coach to make a decision who he wants to put out there. Um, I feel like the depth is good for us because at the same time, you get to take breaks. You need, you need breaks sometimes. Take a playoff and when we put the next person in, we're not worried. Or oh, is he going to do his job? He's going to do his job. We're going to make sure he do his job. You weren't here in the past to know, but one of the jumps that I think your unit has made is just the height and the physicality. Um, do you see the defensive backs having that physicality as compared to other places that you've been? And how does that play out into your game? So our defense, that's something with the line guys, that's something we're working on every day. I feel like that's going to come within time. And I feel like having them longer DBs, taller DBs, I feel like that intimidates receivers. They probably not used to the bigger corners, longer corners. That's just something we're going to work on every day. This is a league that relies on DBs because it's the offices are so spread out. Is that something that maybe made a, an impact on why you chose FAU is getting the opportunity to go up against wide receivers both in practice and in the game? For sure. I feel like that's a good component for me. That gets to just put me out there to show scouts like I can cover. I'm not just long, tall. I can move like a small guy too, I feel like. I feel like that's what's going to help us, not just me, though. Everybody in my position be for the tall guys, long guys. We got a couple of them. We all can move. Have you seen a difference in the speed down here? Game speed, yeah, it's definitely Florida. Yeah, they definitely fast down here in Florida for sure. I figured that out. I think it was my second day at camp. <laughs> but actually, no, in summer workouts, I figured that out. Because I thought I was fast, but we got some fast dudes for sure. I'm getting faster too. <laughs> So what has been the biggest adjustment since transferring to FAU? Is it the heat? What, what is it? Definitely the heat, uh, for sure. 
I don't go too much. And I'm I'm getting better with that. I'm hydrated now. I'm getting everything right. That's the way to eat. Um, I say, because I was at the junior college before, so the culture, I feel like the culture at junior college is not, it's hard to build a culture because you got a lot of guys coming in and coming out. But here it's definitely a culture. What is it about the culture? Because that's something we've heard th throughout all of our interviews so far, is that the culture has really improved. So what is, what's making it a good like, kind of environment around here right now? It's just the unit, like, they, they, uh, they deep on unit pride, they don't want to know. It's just the pillars that we got. They pressed on us every day, and we just got to believe in the culture. Believe in what they're telling us, we got to believe in each other. I feel like that's what's going to keep us up. Esprit de corps. Say one more time. Esprit de corps. I'm not sure what that means. Check that one out. I got to Google it. Y'all are feeling that. Esprit de corps. It's good. So you mentioned you transferring in from a JUCO first game up there at Michigan State probably will be pretty loud in there. What what are you are you looking forward to that game and the atmosphere and getting out there? For sure, I feel like that's first thing I did. I think even before I committed to the school, I looked at the uh, schedule, seeing who was playing and who was that. I feel like that's a good challenge for us. I feel like it's either going to wake us up, it's going to wake us up, or it's going to wake the AAC up. And I feel like. So like we're gonna leave the AAC. I just hope my guys feel in the same way.